welcome. The first thing I'm going to cut is the top bodies. And to fold the fabric, we'll be using the bust circumference measurement plus 8 divided by 4, that's 10.5 inches. And that is the same as the bust circumference measurement um, divided by 4 plus 2 inches. Now, to the 10.5, I added the extra 2 inches to make it 12.5. That's because I'll be cutting out some parts um, from the fabric and I'll be cutting out little um, material. So in order to join it back and we still maintain our measurements is the reason I'm adding that um, extra two inches. Now, I folded my fabric. From the top, I'm going to minus five inches and the half length is 15 inches. So I'll be working with 16. You can decide to um, just take it straight down to the base if you do not want to cut out the half length. So here I am going to measure the 8.5 for arm old and the under bust length is 12.5 inches. The two inches that was added, I am going to hide it first. And now we're going to bring out um, the shape. The shoulder measurement is seven, um, 14 inches divided by two, seven. Bust circumference is 10.5, that's plus eight divided by four. The under bust circumference measurement nine inches, that's plus eight divided by four. To connect this, Now the next thing I'm going to do is to unfold the two inches and there's need to fold based on the um, bust span and the bust span measurement is seven inches that is 3.5 plus allowance will give us four inches. So here is my four inches. I am going to note the underbust. This is the underbust length. And from there, we need to get the nipple point. Here is my nipple point. Now, I'm going to notch this and I'll open it up. which means this is a folding um, line. All right, what I'm going to do from here, here is a on the bust member. Now what I'm going to do is from the base, I'm going to take half an inch to the left and to the right hand side. And that will continue to the under bust measurements, half an inch and half an inch. Now on the under bust, I am going to increase it to 7.0.75. That's adding extra 0.25 to it. at the under bust so same goes to both the right and the left hand side now from here i am going to come up by one inch just one inch which means from this point which is the under bust i'm going to connect to the base you can use your ruler 
same goes so it appears on the other side then from this one inch i'm going to connect like this to meet the one inch and this is how i am going to cut it out Now, like I said, that if you don't want to, um, if you don't want any joining here on the waist, you can increase the length. You can just maintain the length of your dress, which means whatever measurements I have here, this half an inch to the left and to the right side, to the right hand side, will continue like that to the base of the gown. That's if you don't want any joining on the half length. So it means you bring it down from the base and continue like that till you get to this point now the next thing we are going to do here is on the neckline and for the neckline i am going to re remember it says minus five that we took minus five so for the depth i am going to maintain seven inches so still this is my seven and i am going to return this you know two inches was added to this measurement so i'm going to cut out the two inches um excess that was added So that from the bust now i can connect back to the under bust measurement like this so okay before i cut from my seven inches i'm going to draw out a sweetheart neck like this you can use your cuff if that is available and if not you can just trace it out like this So as it is now, I'll just place it on my fabric to cut. For me, I that's on the fabric now. I am not going to um, cut it on the half length. So I'll just increase the length on the fabric. Let's do that. So to cut the fabric, what I did here is um, I used the hip circumference measurement plus it divided by four. And I added extra two inches to the folding. So I folded 13.5 inches. Now this is the half length, which we have already cut. And I just placed it at the top, all right? Then I still maintained my four inches. So here is my four inches line to the base. You know, I told us that if you do not want to cut it at um, the half length, then you, that means you have to follow that same process. To the base of your dress but if you want it if you want to cut it at the half length that means this is fine and at the base you just cut out your straight um main your basic bodies like a skirt block so this is the four inches line and remember we took half an inch to the left and to the right hand side so here is the half an inch to the left and to the right hand side the length now the length of my dress, the total length is 42 and I had it 2 inches. So here is 44 inches. So I'm going to be cutting from the base all through to the top. Let's cut.
So here it is waist circumference measurement plus a divided by four and the extra two inches. Here it is hip circumference plus a divided by four with the extra two inches and I subtracted one inch here at the base. So I'm going to cut out the dark line now. So with this now, the extra two inches that was added will cover up for that which we have cut out. You can see how it's going to come back after joining. So to cut the back, the back is just the basic bodies and let's fold to do that. Now, this is the back and what I did here is to measure my half length, which is 15 inches. This is 15 inches for the plain fabric and on the Ankara fabric, I added um, extra 10 inches. It's, it is lapping with 10 inches. That's because I want to bring out um, a shape. I'll be bringing out a kind of shape, like a curve shape at the back. When we get there, I'll explain for that. Now to fold here, I used um, the hip circumference measurements, especially on the Ankara fabric to fold. And that's because you know, I'll be cutting it out together and the hip is the highest circumference. And I added my allowance, my zipper allowance as well. So from this top now, I maintained my measurement of 42 inches. And with my seam allowance, I have 44 inches here at the base. So here I have the shoulder divided by two which is seven plus my um, zipper allowance. And that's 8.5. And for the bust, I have my bust circumference plus eight divided by four and my zipper allowance. And of course the under bust circumference measurement. So this is more like your basic bodies. You have your basic bodies and you had your zipper allowance to it. So I'm going to connect the points. I have the waist, I have the hip and straight to the base. Now here is the shoulder, which is straight to the bust like this. Now I'm going to be cutting this, but first, because of the curve shape that I want here, I told us I want to maintain 12.5. So for that reason, I am going to this is my under bust um, measurement, 12.5. And I want to curve it out like this. So I want to come down by um, like one inch because of my joining here. Right, so we can cut. So now I'm going to split this. It's the back, remember. So another thing that we need to pay attention to at this, um, the back part.
part is this is my measurement is starting from this line but i need to go up by one inch more and the width measurement that i'll be taking i had at 1.5 inches as my zipper allowance so my neck um width that i'm working with is 2.5 inches plus the 1.5 inches that will make it four inches so it goes like this and of course you know we need to call um we need to slant with one inch on the shoulder this is my one inch which i am going to slant from this four inches just like this so to slant now it's going to start from this top because of the neckline that we are creating it's going to come like this straight down so let me cut and then we see i'm going to um slits now this is what the back is going to look like and then the Ankara will take the remaining parts here so here is the neckline the high neck of of course now we're going to cut the top bodies for the front now for the half length I mean the top part of for the front I have to 12.5, which is the under bust measurement. And that's because I want my design to start from the under bust. If you want yours to start from around 10 or even um, from the a little bit below the ham hole, you can measure for that. So I have my 12.5 inches and 8.5 inches for ham hole length, which I am going to take the bust circumference measurements. Um, divided by four plus the allowance now here is the shoulder divided by two which is seven and i'm going to connect to create my arm hole now i have created my arm hole and the neckline remember we used 2.5 inches so here is my 2.5 inches the length here you know it was minus five so i have to still maintain the five inches this is the five inches so at this point i am going to take three inches i mean 3.5 inches as the width this is my 3.5 that's on the on the five inches measurement and the shape from this part that's from the base of my um 12.5 inches which is a under buzz you can create any design if you want it to just go slant you can do that if you want to curve it mine is going to be a bit curved like this and the shoulder slant of one inch of course which it will be taking from my neck width and I'll slant. So this is what I'll be cutting out for the front. All right, after cutting it out, let us place it to see what we have after joining. this is beautiful this is what we're going to have by the time we join and this is just for the front now first i'm going to iron my stay on this and i'm also going to cut my lining for this as well i am going to um iron my stay i'll be working with sda for this you can use your paper stay you can use your bfa then i am going to cut out my line in the same way it is so i can join let's move on all right now i told us i'll be cutting the lining that i have done and the joining i joined the fabric and also joined the lining right and when you look at it here at the front 
it's given the shape of a padded um blouse so you can see how it came out after joining the darts now for this i also said i'm going to cut out my lining and i added my stay so i have turned with the lining this is going to be on those parts like this and also the back i cut out my lining and to join here that's to join this neck for the lining we have to place this you can see so in order to hold this from the shoulder to the neckline and it's giving us this shape no this is the back and this is the ham o so this is the joining on this part that's for this and i am going to repeat i mean to do that on the other side which i have done as well so this is going to it's going to come out like this especially the front now you can see how the neckline is coming out that's for the front the next thing we're going to do from here is to join the base we're going to join the base for the back just like this i will add my lining and then i'll join so after joining this i'm going to bring out the shape that's bringing the front and the back together to join the shape so i'll do that and i'll also attach um fix my zipper now the sleeve that i'm going to um be cutting is just the width of your choice and also the um, the length of your choice it's going to be in two um two steps so the first step is nine inches and the length because i am going to gather so here i have 30 inches 30 inches and i high on my stay and i also cut out my lining so after cutting the lining i first joined on this line and i'm going to fold it in this manner in order to join so that i can bring it out to form this you can see i have my gathers so i'll be doing this on this is going to be the first step and then the second step as well i am going still going to join this like this so i'm going to do all that then i'll come back to show us what we are going to do next so let's move on finally this is the outcome of our dress you can see the way it's been placed i've brought out the shape as well and for our sleeve here it is and got it so you can just join You can just attach this to it and just like this which is going to be the final thing to do on our dress and in case this is your first time on our channel kindly click the subscribe button remember to click the bell as well to get notification each time i upload a new video and do not forget to leave your comments in the comment section whatever questions you have do that in the comment section i'll be there to answer you so go ahead make yours and tag me Till I see you next class. Bye.